Hello everybody and welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. I have to go back on my claim in the last video. Uh, I think I should, you know, interchange a little bit. One lost run, one non-lost run. Uh, and uh, change it up like that. I think that's going to be better in the long run for most people. And, um, you know, you, you don't want to get uh, totally... Uh, you know burned out on lost anyway so I think instead we're gonna do our last few challenges and I think we should start with brains and here we are blue baby three brains no mercy um, we can crush rocks or any kind of obstacle and um, that's pretty much our only advantage because without that you wouldn't even be able to um, complete some of those rooms. Ooh. Shielded tears that do nothing, I think. <laughs> because we don't have any tears. But the speed upgrade is pretty nice. Oh. Right. There wasn't actually... A switch that I had to use. It was just a bonus thing. So yeah, we get those free consumables because we're probably gonna need them. I've been struggling quite a bit with this challenge. We actually once beat that, or almost we beat that challenge in the first video I did on it. Um, because we got a breaking run, like, sort of. Ooh, great, Abel. At least you got tears now. Right? Yeah. Um. Oh, great. Small room. Okay. With the... Bob's brains, please come back now. Okay. Well, at least we just got hit twice there. Um. I guess the luck is good here. Moving on. Uh, okay. Yeah, we got kind of a breaking run by um, re-rolling. Like, using a re-roll room. And it kind of looked like we fucked us because... Uh, fi fucked the run. <laughs> because... Um, Bob's brain went away, but uh, um, instead, uh, I mean, not instead, but um, the blindfold still stayed on. But I think I found like a way of dealing passive damage or something, I don't remember exactly. So here we are, trying to maybe do it again. We'll see. Maybe we won't be, this is kind of a an achievement that is easier to break than it is to actually do. So yeah. Pick up all that money. And see what's in here. Okay. Um, well, the spirit heart doesn't hurt. Come on. Alright. That's the one thing you can't do with Bob's brain. Like, it's not like Ipecac where you shoot it at something. Oops. And it breaks open, but, um... Come on. It, um... When there's no combat in the room, it won't do anything. It won't explode, basically. So, yeah. We got another spirit heart in this room, which is nice. It would obviously be pretty alright if we could just keep getting spirit hearts over and over, but that's of course entirely reliant on luck. Now this fight is going to be especially annoying, I, I can tell. Yep. Because I can't really, uh, maybe now, shoot these balls. 
right. And that should do the trick. Another HP up, nice. And a Krampus fight, because why not? Ah. Okay, map of coal doesn't do anything for us again. Oh, just a great start here. Um, I don't know. Should I look for a ladder everywhere? I mean, every little thing matters, I guess. But the more time I spent on a run like this, and then it turns out I just don't get the stuff that I need. the more it's gonna be like, I don't really want to do it anymore. <laughs> At least this room will be a little bit easier, but, and there's also a Tinted Rock here, very nice. So that was a plus. Okay, Oop, some more, maybe? We get another Spirit Heart from Poop sometimes. It does happen, eventually. Not as much without Petrified Poop, though. <sighs> Okie dokie. Still gonna be... well, it, it depends again, but maybe easier than the last? With Holy Mantle I'm not so sure anymore actually. <laughs> okay. Killed those guys and that was all. Nice. Let's see, that doesn't seem like it's worth it to me. That was lucky that it didn't explode. Just popped. Oh dear. Oh dear. Hmm. Damn it! Oh god. Lay off, will ya? Oh, please give me like red or blue candle on the next room or something. On the next shop, I mean. This would be great. This is the worst, like these uh, small enemies that normally wouldn't take long to kill are actually really annoying now. We should... oh my god, why would I do that? We should take our time on this run. Time is not the issue. Yeah, I think I died on Isaac on that last one, which is a shame because after that, who knows what might have happened, you know? Yeah. Mm. Okay, at least they got them all. They were really clumped up together. Right. Moving on. The problem is also that the brains are really finicky to move. Like, when you tell them to move, like by pressing the. or. like, um. holding the thumbstick, they don't react right away. They have, like, a little bit of a delay here. So. I'm, I'm pressing the thumbstick now. And if I, like, do it like this, or like... Okay, I guess. I don't know. It's weird. <laughs> Sometimes it doesn't seem to want to fire, I guess. But here's the shop, so... I have hope. But f most of all, I have the money. For any situation, basically. Why didn't the poop just work? 
Um, Bob's of friends. Do we get six Bob's brains then? Um, I guess that would be good because we wouldn't have to recharge them or nearly as often basically. Um, but actually it's going to be more important on non-boss fights. So we'll see how that works out, I guess. Alright. Here we go. It's Pestilence in a small room. And uh, I used Box of Friends to no avail? Is that correct? Like, I don't see a difference. Let's count the brains. There's three. Do any more shop pop up? Oh, okay, four. Oh, right, they don't double. It just gives me one more. And I guess Abel doesn't count. Okay, but ball bandages is actually good. Ooh. What if we respawn as Black Judas? Does that... Does that break the run? I really hope it does. Please. Okay, well... I guess that didn't really help me. <laughs> it just... It only cost me one spirit heart, so... And maybe my... Like, I think I'm moving faster, too. So, I guess the stat boost was good. Maybe, like, Mom's knife would have gi actually given me the knife, but, uh, obviously I would have been dead. So, yeah, Box of Friends only adds one familiar. It doesn't double them. Should have remembered that. Okay, very dangerous room, but manageable. Because they can't reach us. But yeah, a ball bandages. If enemies come close, I can at least try to kill them like that. I don't know what kind of champion that was, but I guess it doesn't matter. Because he's dead. Yeah, I, I still think like one Bob's brain extra is good enough for 15 cents. Unless, you know, we get something even better. Come on. Okay. Careful when they come so close. Ah, why did I... I just told myself. But I wouldn't listen. Man. <sighs> One more misfire like that and we're toast. I'm not looking forward to that. Okay, maybe Ball bandages this one. <clears throat> yeah, that was good. <clears throat> Let's see what's in here. Uh, that couldn't possibly give me anything to be excited about right now. Let's see, it wouldn't fire just now. <sighs> Oh my god. I'm dead. Well, let's try that again. Okay. Another try. Let's see here. I think what might be a good strategy is to, like, try curse rooms. Like, as soon as you can, but make sure that, uh... Oh my god. Buzz off. Make sure that, um... You have one more spirit card whenever you try them. Because once you take a deal, like, most deals don't give you health, they... Um reduce your health by three and if you do that then you're, you're fucked because you pay 
let's try again. You pay um, one spirit heart for going in the room to begin with. So once you go out, you're dead. Pretty shitty situation. Uh, or just go for the blue candle or red candle. Which might be maybe the more reasonable approach. I don't know. We shall see. Of course we can't bomb our donation machine if we don't have the money. Because there is no donation machine on the challenge run. So many ins and outs to this. It's really hard to make something work that breaks the game. In that sense, I guess it's pretty well designed because it was made to be completed like this. They also give you those possibilities to break, but um, they're not supposed to be the norm. So is there even any deal with it or like devil? Room, oh, what am I talking about? Like, um, curse room. That one's good. So, at least we have the ammunition for the next one. Basically, I'm hoping for like low brimstone, which I assume we would be able to still, um, charge even though we don't have any tears. I don't see a reason not why that wouldn't be the case, so. Okay. Okay. Alright. Come on. Or just just other familiars. They're probably good enough too. Alright. So at least we didn't lose as much health as before. <laughs> okay, what's in here? Stone chests. I guess if things get too overwhelming, I can, you know, use the Argus rune. So let's try. Keeper. <clears throat> it's a tear effect, so I think it doesn't matter again. <laughs> but... We got a spirit heart out of this fight, so at least that was um, profitable already. And monster doesn't seem to want to. Yeah, now he jumps, but. <clears throat> Actually, pretty easy room. All things considered. So far, so good. Okay. Another tinted truck. We're getting pretty healthy here. And yeah, the heap of tears do nothing, I guess. Oh well. Could've used the money. Jesus! Oh my god. I did not think I was going to get hit there. Okay, here's our... ...shop, but we don't have the money at all. I would really love, uh... Um... Maybe... Mysterious Candy might be good here, but... Uh... I would really love, like, Pageant Boy from our boss. Which I don't normally like. But oh, that was a beautiful one. If only every room could work out like this. Come on, come back. I guess we can break the pots, but then we get hit by spiders. It was not an easy challenge, you know? <laughs> Get a curse from here, so maybe... Well, if we don't get a deal with the devil, we can try out this one. 
Oh wait. Um Alright. I guess he's slow enough so I don't really care what's going on with him. But I don't care for his rewards either. So there's that. Yeah, Mysterious Candy gives me poop every once in a while. I think that's it. But, um... Nothing else apart from that. Mom's Purse and Petrified Poop would be the only good... Like, really good, um... Synergy for that thing. Okay, we did get a deal. Okay, um... I think we can only take one of these. And that one should be Gimpy. Black Judas will not do anything. We'll still be uh, unable to shoot. I guess that's it. We don't have to go any further here. We won't be able to shoot tears, so who cares? Exactly. <laughs> it's exactly my thinking, Blue Baby. You summed it up. I'm just thinking um, with Gimpy, at least we can make some HP. Like, not make, but. Uh, it won't be as bad if we get hit. It might make it up at least. Come on now. All right. Okay. Max's face is actually the best trinket I could hope for right now. I think. As blue baby is actually really good because. You barely have any downside because if we if you were were um ah shit man I went to scratch my head and because I thought it was safe uh, yeah if you're in danger of getting hit by um uh, of uh, losing your eternal heart as blue baby you're gonna die anyway. So most likely it's just gonna end up as a, as an extra spirit heart per floor. Which is a decent haul. Now would you hate these rooms. I hate these rooms even if I have tears. Any enemy that Teleports. <sighs> Man. There's even more? Oh, you got over there. Alright. Man, Bob's brain, you suck. Oh, there's Petrified Poop. I mean, Maggie's Faith won't help us until we actually... Um, until we actually go to the next floor, so we might as well stick with Petrified Poop until then. Okay, I'm gonna open it just to see. There is no candle. What a shame. Man. Oh, it's a stain fight. Nothing easier than that, right? Ah, man. This one's not looking too good. Again.
Come and hide from me. PJs, thank God. Whew. Okay, um... Nah, I'm gonna keep going. Okay, PJ saved my ass there. And still no Gimpy payout that I can actually recall. That was a beautiful shot. Broken clocks right twice in a day. Oh, I forgot Maggie's faith. Oh well, maybe Petrified Poop is actually better for us. There's always the chance to forget stuff like this. And you leave them behind. Yeah, maybe Petrified Poop is better. We need the money anyway for potential blue candle. Or red candle. And so far it's actually been better already. If it's always gonna be like this many oh my god it's the fast dips if it's always gonna be this many spirit hearts from poops I'm fine with it okay come on he, he could not have seen that coming Okay, we're getting a little bit richer. And there's a six room. We did that once already. And we were pretty much awarded for it, but it was more or less <laughs> it was more or less by chance anyway. I'm gonna try it. Okay, we keep Bob's brains. We have the nails, which don't do anything. We have... Lusty Blood. We have Bomberman. Oh. Wait, oh yeah, we still have three Bob's Brains. And now I'm like, maybe that one reroll where I, you know, rerolled out of Bob's Brain might have been a glitch. It was pretty early on in the game. Actually, yeah, um, butt bombs will be great. I think that's that's honestly an improvement. Fuck. Because it's gonna hurt every enemy in the room. Okay, I think this run is pretty good. Now. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe Last time we rerolled, we shouldn't have been absolved of Bob's brain. Like we did. At least I think we. Uh, I think I was. Re I'm remembering it correctly. Like, um. We did lose our Bob's brains, did we? And also, yeah, with butt bombs, we can just lay down a bomb just to get the room damage. Okay, here's the... the shop, and uh... Confused bomb flies. And the whiffing here. <sighs> no... candles, really? Well, that's just great. I'll take this. And I'm hoping that uh, maybe we can survive until we get Red Candle on the next floor. Of course we lost Gimpy, which is a shame. Fuck. I don't even know what I got hit from. Was it the flying asshole or did I stand too close to Bob's brain? Oh no. Oh no. Why? F 
Fuck off. <laughs> Thank you. Jesus. Horrible. Horrible, horrible. Well, that's good at least. You haven't found the other secret room. Oh, there it is. I guess we have found it. Yeah. Okay. Um, I don't think he can give us good stuff that we can actually use, so... What the? Mmm, I forgot about Bomber Boy. <sighs> okay. You got me. Oh, actually. With Hamid... Temesis? Hematomesis, whatever. We can do a little trick. Because... Every heart that gets dropped in here will turn to an eternal heart. Oh, yeah. Yeah, baby. Nice little um, trick for you. So it wasn't all bad. Gordy is actually fine. I don't mind her fighting her at all. What the hell? I was below you. What a jerk. Okay, remember you have Bomber Boy from now on. Yeah. Wait for God's Spain to come back. You also lost the poop, by the way. So that's now even more important to get a good space bride. item. That was my own fault this time. <laughs> Oh great, torn photo, my favorite. Okay. Alright. Pretty shitty, all things considered. Because I already had a, enough HP for a deal, but oh well. So, we're on the Necropolis, <laughs> and I'm shitting my pants. I don't think we want to go in there. Goody. Motherfucker. Yeah, do your worst, Bleach. <sighs> Where did the money come from? Oh, for the who? Of course. Uh, not worth it. Guess the best thing I could get from a golden chest is fate. Which I'd be fine with, don't get me wrong. More maneuverability is always good, but... Uh, I mean, <laughs> more options is a start, but I do need more. <laughs> also, I need one more cent for another spirit heart. Oh dear. The clubs? Yeah, it's actually good. Maybe. I should start just using bombs on rooms that are, you know, dangerous enough. Because with 30 bombs, I think we can clear a room with one Bomber Boy bomb. The problem is that we have a very high chance of actually hitting ourselves with them. Not a very good um, proposition, in fact. Too close! Okay, that went better than I thought it would. Okay, you almost came too close there. 
Actually, Leech is a pretty good asset too. It's very easy to forget about him. Oh, that's terrible. Ouch! God damn maggot! Turn into a TF2 soldier there. Oh my god. Fuck! At least I hit something. That should not happen, like... Enemies you haven't even seen yet? Telefragging you like this? It's not cool. <clears throat> One of the few flaws that I think are inherent to Isaac. This is totally gonna be Bomber Boy's job here. Okay. That went relatively well. Get an HP upgrade here. <sighs> Not a lot of money left for an eventual candle item. <clears throat> In fact, wait a second. Shouldn't I have gotten two items with more options? Doesn't seem right to me. I only got one. Okay, at this point I have to get, you know, money wherever I can. Ouch. I think the biggest weakness to this run is that, or the biggest downside to the reroll, is that I lost um, the ball of bandages. Honestly. Okay, butt bombs should kill the minions, but, well, or the black heart, I guess. Yeah, maybe it's hard-coded into the achievement that you can't use more options. At least I got some money here. Careful. Thank you, Leech. For a second there, I thought I wouldn't be able to do this. I guess we should crush these... Um, all these uh, skulls as well. To get uh, like possibly a helpful card, Hierophant <laughs> sounds like a good idea. Maybe even like um, blank card Hierophant might be enough to carry this. I don't know. It's hard to say. There was nothing in there, right? No. Okay, on to the big room. Almost walked in there again. I mean, I, I didn't yet, but I do very often walk into the the spikes on that particular room. Yeah, leech. Show him what for. Uh, too close. Almost too close. Oh boy. Okay, this should be easy. We haven't seen the shop yet. We might have to... Oh, there it is. I thought we might have to backtrack. Okay. 
There's Red Candle. I want it so bad. Stay clear. We need three more cents. Three more cents and this could all be worth it. Oh, thank God. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm not saying the run is saved yet. But it's just gotten like from zero to... I don't know. Maybe not zero percent, but... Um, I don't know, 5% win to 50 or 60. I can still use Bob's brain when I think it's gonna be good, but I don't have to rely on it anymore. Come on, mom. Oh my god. Does it shoot Bob's brain even if I shoot Red Candle? <sighs> okay, um, wait a second. What is this? It's given me both options, but only one will lead me to victory, right? So, is this. I can never tell if this is the Polaroid or the negative. I guess it's the Polaroid. Let me check. Okay. I think the Polaroid is in the middle. So it is the Polaroid. Okay. Weird that they let me choose here. Maybe because of more options, maybe, actually. <laughs> Which is pretty funny to me. <clears throat> okay, we have a chance, but we also have um, very low HP. More rooms like this, please. More rooms like this, please. <laughs> More rooms like this, please. Um, let's see if maybe... That was close. Maybe Whipworm helps with the shot speed of Hop Brain. Not really. We should also look for tinted rocks everywhere. Oh my god. At least we got permanent Polaroid invisibility now. Okay, it still shoots Bob's brain. This is... Oh, man. So yeah, even the candle is not a surefire win. Because if enemies are ganging up on you, you're gonna get hit. There's kind of no ifs and buts about it. No. I guess I should have started hitting that thing first before I tried tracking down the other thing. Okay, um, I'm guessing we have to go through the other big room as well. Man. This challenge is so hard to me. I'll just put down a bomb here. Mm. Guess that didn't really work. Okay. Um, I don't know what to do. We're probably gonna die. I might have to read up on strategies for this challenge on the internet somewhere. 
see what people say about it, what item combinations work. Because you're basically restricted to shop items. And anything else will be unavailable to us because we don't get item rooms. Where the hell are you? <sighs> Isaac can be pretty unforgiving at times. This is no fun. Okay. I'm gonna take a wild guess and go north. Okay, nothing here, but, you know, no problem either. How did I not get hit? Okay. Maybe the, the uh, solution is to first shoot one Bob's Ray in one direction, then immediately follow it up with the candle. Like, <clears throat> that way you're ensuring that uh, the Bob's brain... Oh my god. Yeah. I had to try it. It didn't work out. <laughs> oh man. Okay. Thanks for watching anyway. We're gonna try again in two episodes next one will be lost related as well and um yeah thanks for watching anyway i will see what i can find on the brains challenge and maybe we can uh, lay this one to rest next time we try it anyway thank you very much for watching and i'll see you next one in the next one good night <laughs>